Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Andy Cockgrieve from Tableau Software, and it's a great privilege to be here in Berlin speaking to you all today. Some of you may not have heard of Tableau. Uh, our mission is to help people see and understand their data. If you want to find out more about Tableau, we have a booth. So come and uh, ask us questions throughout the day. We will be here all day to ask, answer your questions. But today, I'm here to talk to you about asking why with data, and actually applying a simple business technique to data that some people don't think about. It's really important to ask why of, the, of everything in life. Children ask why, journalists ask why, and scientists do too. This is Alexander Fleming, famous British scientist who one day came into his, his office and discovered a, mo uh, a Petri dish was growing mold in a slightly unpredictable way. And instead of throwing that uh, Petri dish away and carrying on with his daily task, he asked why. And through that uh, accidental discovery and the curiosity of science, he discovered penicillin. Penicillin was discovered by this man because he asked why when he saw something unexpected. And that is what Tableau believes we can do with our data too. We can look for the unexpected and gain new insights into our organizations, into our data. And the key is not to ask what of data, but to ask why. When we do that, we can get to the root cause of problems. Too often, we see customers and companies like yours only going asking surface level questions with data, and it's a hugely wasted opportunity. So what I want to talk about today is a business principle created by this fine gentleman. This is Sakichi Toyoda, who was a Japanese engineer and inventor. And at the turn of the 20th century, he revolutionized the uh, textile industry. And he and his sons also founded the Toyota car manufacturer. So an incredible uh, engineer and businessman. But not only did he re revolutionize industry, he came up with some really powerful business ideas, one of which is called the five whys. And many of you may have heard this. It's taught in many uh, business schools and in business books. And it's simply about asking why of any problem. As an example, we might have a vehicle that doesn't start. And then to get to the problem, we ask why five times. Once we get into the fifth or sixth question, we get to a root cause of the problem. Maybe it wasn't maintained properly. Now, you can do this if you're in sales. You can ask your, your prospects, why do they want your software or your product? And why do they want it? Why do they want it? And you'll get to really good, interesting answers. If you're in development, ask your users why they want a certain feature. And as you get down to the fifth question, you get to a really interesting answer. And the thing is, we can apply this to data, and many organizations don't. So what I want to talk about today is what Sakichi Toyoda did and how it makes our data analysis extremely powerful if we harness that power. The reason I feel extremely passionate about this is that I see lots of products and lots of vendors that talk about data visualization being the answer to everything. And the problem is data visualization is only the answer to one or two questions. It isn't why. It just tells you what. A lot of customers we see think, well, I'll build a dashboard. I've got my data. I'll build a dashboard. It will monitor what happens in the business. And then I'm done. Somehow, that's the end. But the thing is, dashboards are very useful, but they're dead ends. Dashboards, as far as I am concerned, are the start of an analytical process, not the end. And you need tools and platforms that can enable iteration and exploration to find really interesting insights in your data. As an example, here's, here's a dashboard showing sales and profits uh, from a, from a uh, superstore in the US. Now, it's a really good dashboard. It's got a nice chart. It looks pretty. And you could even filter. You could say, well, show me sales in just the eastern region. And that's fine. I'm seeing more answers to my questions. But then this is the problem. You see something like this in the top right-hand side. The blue line shows profits for technology. And there's some strange activity going on. There was a big spike. 
And then there was a big drop. And that's when you ask why. And this is when most companies come to an end. They can't ask why this thing happened. And in fact, this is almost more frustrating than not knowing that this is happening in your business. Because if all your employees have access to is a dashboard, they cannot interrogate things and go a little bit deeper. To take that back to the business five wise metaphor, imagine if you did have a vehicle and you couldn't ask why it had broken down. You are stuck. It's blindingly obvious when you take these questions away, and yet somehow we accept data visualization products that don't allow us to answer deep questions to get that iterative spark of insight that scientists like Fleming got out of his mold and Petri dishes that we could get out of our data. Asking why looks completely different. Maybe you do start off with a KPI bar chart. But then as you interrogate the problem, you ask, why is there a problem? Redraw that data as a map. Find a region in the States with a problem. Redraw that as a scatter plot. And maybe you could see some outliers in the top left. Ask why those outliers are outliers, and then eventually get to the root cause of the problem, or even a success. Maybe that's a good thing you found. This is about asking why of your data. Now, a lot of you here, I suspect, are uh, running startups. And certainly, we see in the startup economy a lot of trend about looking at one key metric. You know, What is the single thing that is most important to your business? Now, that's important. But when you look at a KPI, this is one bar, one piece of information, which is actually made up of hundreds or thousands of different customers or transactions. And the level of detail that you can get as you break a KPI apart is as vital as seeing the KPI itself. And that's what dashboards do not let you do. So what I'd like to do is show you, rather than stick with slides, show you how this can work. And for that, I'm going to switch uh, to Tableau. All right, here we go. Nice big screen. Uh, so what we're looking at here is a similar dashboard in Tableau. I've got sales and profit for my uh, company. And you can see I've got a profit target over here, and furniture somehow is way off the mark. Well, I can click on that, and the other views update, but they don't tell me why I've got a problem with furniture. And that's what we're trying to find in business. I have a question. I want to know why. So let's go into this view and do an exploration, an iteration, to see if we can discover why furniture is uh, such a profit, such is losing us money, is not making us much profit. So if the question is, why is furniture not making a big profit, I could keep only furniture and then drill down and look at all the different categories of furniture. Again, what pops out is this. Tables are losing us money. Well, why is that? I'll keep only the tables and then drill into the tables. Over here, we've got the profits. And as I saw by profit, you can see there's lots of manufacturers that are causing me a problem. But I still haven't got to that root cause. I can see there's four in particular which are causing us to lose an incredible amounts of money. So maybe I, I can ask why and keep those to explore those. So I'm going to keep only those. And now maybe say, well, if, if I look at this data in a different way, does, do I get a different answer? So we can go to any kind of chart, but let's try a scatter plot. Uh, I'll just make this a bit more visible for you. Uh, make it a circle. OK, so currently, there's not much on this. We've got sales, sales along the x-axis, profit on the y-axis, and each dot represents a uh, type, type of table which is losing money. I need to know why we're losing money so I can bring in more information. Customer name, we could look at every individual customer. Now I'm beginning to see something a bit more interesting. Each one of these dots represents a customer. And Victoria Pisteca, somehow we managed to lose $1,000 on a $1,800 sale. It's clearly not very good. So I'm beginning to see some interesting information. Uh, let's just get rid of that. And now I can ask, why are these customers losing us money? Maybe it's to do with customer segment. 
can drag and drop and ask the question. Oops, let's take that off. Each color represents a different customer segment, but it doesn't appear that that's the reason why we're losing the money. So let's put customer segment there. Maybe we can ask it about ship mode. How do we uh, transport products to the customers? Again, we could drop those on color, but it's not really giving me a good answer. But what we're doing is just iterating. And like, maybe I could ask, uh, is it discount? Maybe we're, give, maybe we're giving too much discount. So I'm going to put that on the color shelf. And now we're getting to an answer. I'll take segment off. I'll just make these a little bit bigger. So what we have on the screen here is we started from a single KPI, one bar showing that the profits were not very good. Now, with just a few iterations and asking questions and flowing with data, we've got a scatter plot where each mark represents a customer and an order. And if it's below the axis, it's lost as money. The color of the mark represents the amount of discount we gave that customer on that order. And what you can see is the lighter, but the lighter circles are lower discount. And so in fact, if we label each one, what we can see is as we offer 20, 40, 50% discount to our customers, we lose more and more money. So what I've done there is break apart a KPI. Instead of one key metric, I can take one key metric and iterate and ask questions over and over again until I get to the root cause of a problem. And in this case, the problem is we're selling our products with too much discount. We need to go and re retrain our sales team and change our discounting strategy in order to become profitable again. And if you think most organizations end their analytics with a dashboard, there's no way that that question could be answered with a dashboard like this. It would show you the surface problem, but it's about data analytics is about getting to the depth of a problem in order to understand your, uh, the issues. So this is something we see customers succeeding with every day across, uh, across the world. You know, we've got customers across the world. And I'll just give you one, uh, one of my favorite quotes from this guy, Jonathan Kappa, who works at Air Lingus, and he's a product planning manager. So here's the long quote, which you don't need to read. Uh, but I'll just highlight a couple of the phrases. So he says, we, we discovered this big negative cost. And then, oh my god, there's a problem. And he says, bang, 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 two minutes in Tableau. And we'd rework the whole thing. Within two days, they'd republished their data, they just made new insights, and they were saving millions of dollars. Now, there's one line in this quote which makes me smile every time I see it. Bang, 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 two minutes. Now, has anybody ever had that emotional reaction when using a dashboard? It doesn't happen, right? Dashboards are designed by other people. They answer the questions that other people anticipated. And all you can do with the dashboard is zoom in. You can interact. And some people call that self-service analytics. But if all you can do is zoom in, you're not actually exploring and finding new questions. Whereas uh, people like Jonathan, he is involved and in the flow and finding insights as and when they need to be discovered. Now, I suspect many of you are sort of in, many of you are in early phase and thinking about how to take advantage of all the data you have at your fingertips. And I, you know, I, I sort of recommend thinking about it in a couple of ways. First of all, you do need dashboards. You know, dash, we do need to look at the one key metric. If you're looking at monthly active users or weekly active users or number of transactions, you do need to keep an eye on that. And then. Wherever that dashboard is, it needs to be able to connect to your data. Now, your data might be in the cloud. It might be on premises, or it might be just on your laptop, or in uh, a cloud service, or something like that. 
your dashboarding solution needs to point to data wherever it is. It should not dictate to you where you put your data, because moving data is tedious and complicated. But the other absolutely vital aspect of this is asking why. If I designed a dashboard for you today, the best I could do is give you a view of your data that answers the questions you tell me are important today. But I can bet that tomorrow or on wet Friday or next week, you will have a new question of your data. And I, if I'm the dashboard developer, I can't keep up with that. It's down to you to be able to explore the data and interrogate things yourselves. One of the other things we believe at Tableau is, is about the power of the human brain. You know, at tech conferences like this, AI and machine learning are all the rage, which is amazing because it is incredible technology. There's been some incredible sessions already this morning. But our companies are full of employees with incredible things in their head. And what, what sometimes distresses me is that we see people trying to jump ahead and use AI to find the data solutions that actually empowered human beings could do quite easily and probably a lot cheaper and a lot faster. So asking why is a vital part of choosing an analytics platform. So it divides into two sides of things. Data visualization on the left-hand side, that's really important. You, know, you, need, you need to be able to see the answers to the questions that you anticipate when you build your dashboards. But on the other side is visual analytics. And uh, Donald Rumsfeld made the quote really famous. He said, we need to understand the unknown unknowns. I don't know what questions of your data you're going to have tomorrow or next week. You don't know what questions you're going to have of your data tomorrow or next week. But if all you have is dashboards, you're not going to be able to answer them. And you're going to miss amazing insights and opportunities in your organization. So with that, that was uh, my 17 minutes or 20 minutes are nearly up. We have a booth. Uh, we're here all day. I'm going to be around for the, uh, the speaker thing, uh, meeting point for questions. But I hope I've given you just an idea of how there are opportunities to go beyond simple dashboarding into a paradigm where data is just putty in your hands that you can shift and look at in different directions to chase and discover new insights. So that's for asking why. I'm Andy Cogri from Tableau. I'd like to thank you very much. <laughs>